Sorry, I was busy being a tree. I missed stuff. So, the 4th of July just passed, and during our uh, weekly sloth storytelling hour this week, people were talking about all kinds of different concepts having to do with Independence Day and the 4th of July and fireworks. And a lot of these phrases that we use are, um, bring up a lot of different concepts. When you say fireworks, you might be talking about the stuff up there. You might be talking about the stuff somewhere else. I don't know. But the main thing is that our uh, founding fathers attempted something on this continent that had never been seen in the history of the world. Not actually a democracy which was found in its purest form in ancient Greece, but a republic that would reflect the will of the people and result in a government for and by the people. We've had inconsistent uh, results with these concepts. Uh, nonetheless, we can also look at the ways in which we as individuals express our independence of thought and action. Um, who in this audience has ever had a broken heart? Wow, I see some people out here who have never had a broken heart, really? Okay, let's try that again. Who in this audience has had a broken heart? Wow, I'm still seeing people who haven't raised their hands. That's amazing. Congratulations. Or I don't know. Maybe that's not even a good thing. I mean, a broken heart shows that you got to a certain place with, uh, with somebody and enough to care and have dreams. And, and then people being people, sometimes we find that those dreams aren't realistic. And we have to move on. So one of the things that we can look at is, is how we define ourselves in relationship to others. Um, I seem to have a very unique gift. I don't know where I got it, but for my very, very first boyfriend who broke my heart in high school, I was somehow able to move on after that feeling, I know you know what I'm talking about, like you're having open heart surgery without anesthesia, right? Because these, these pains that we feel when our heart is broken are real. Our, our body experiences these things just as they would a knife, a cut, a thorn in your foot. And so with my very, very first boyfriend in high school, he cheated on me. I'll say this for me, he's the only one who ever did that. <laughs> um, later on, he actually broke my eardrum. And uh, after we had broken up, but I got even with him, I'm not gonna talk about how I did that, but. <laughs> Tell us! <laughs> Karma, buddy, let's just say a volleyball net and a very active game of volleyball were in progress we were on opposite sides going for the same spike. He went down. I didn't actually do it on purpose, but he thought I did, and that was almost as good. In fact, it was better because I didn't have to feel guilty about having need him the balls for a purpose. <laughs> Oop, can I say that pre-shark? <laughs> anyway, so uh, time goes by. I know he's still boffing that, uh, boffing that's uh, g rated uh, PG-13, uh, this other woman, and uh, he's still trying to get me back, and one day I got stupid, and he was so thrilled that we were back together. I'm like, what? Well, we're back together. We just made love. I'm like, no, that wasn't making love. That was having sex. There's a difference. What do you think? I'm an idiot? You cheated on me. That's it. And throughout high school, I saw my girlfriends go back repeatedly to these cheating liars that broke their hearts repeatedly. And they didn't seem to see that they were responsible for that because they went back. So the point is that as adults, and I'm not going to say grown-ups because I think that's a, a misnomer. I don't think there's any such thing as a grown-up. If you're really an adult, you realize that you never stop growing. If you stop growing, you're not a grown-up. And we can all move toward this place of balance where we value ourselves over whatever unhealthy needs that we have for others who are not uh, reciprocating in relationship. So I think this is a really important form of independence for us to embrace and to keep growing stronger, to believe in ourselves, follow our dreams, even if that means 
that you don't have anybody to be interdependent with.